Yo, what is going on, guys? Uh, this is Anvil and Sarah here. And if you guys are still subscribed to the channel after that Discord live, <laughs> more power to you. Um, but yes, um, I was like lurking around in, in some other servers, and I noticed that you know people were interested in having like a go to checklist on you know what mods uh, they should have solutions to in ORS. And I know. Uh, it can be a little bit overwhelming with um, some of the more scarier uh, threats in the tier like mana fiends and uh, medicham and stuff. So we'll, we'll give you a brief list right now of uh, you know what mons you should bother checking, what mons you don't really have to watch out for. Uh, and yeah, we'll just get into it. But without uh, w without going too much into detail, let me introduce Sarah. What's going on, Sarah? Oh, n nothing really. Just sounding gay old time. Nice, so nice. let's just keep it going, like you said. So first up, Ooh. oh, for any of our um, our uh, maybe older fans that are around during the uh, GameCube era, you may recognize that Afro. Uh, so anyway, before we get into the uh, checks and and all that stuff, something to remember. Or SOU is a tier where you have to dance. And we don't mean like, you know, like dance dance. We mean like switch, play around uh, certain threats until they're neutralized or until you have a better positioning. So um, sometimes you can do that defensively. You know, maybe you switch between like regenerator mons or what have you. But oftentimes, or uh, many other times, it, it may re require uh, getting into an offensive threat to either scare them out or revenge, kill them, or uh, or, or what have you. And yeah. a very common mon that uh, teams often have to scramble around once they have, like, you know, a uh, no really uh, solid answer is, uh, or counter, I should say, just straight up counter almost, is a Mega Metagross. So look at those big meaty claws. So, oh, yes. so pretty hard to, to dance around, but it it can be done. Anyway, anyway, I guess we could just go on I, to I the chest. Oh, sure, know. sure. Uh, so say, say you you have like a team. Uh, it's like you know defensive landers, Heatran. Maybe you have a tornado on there too. Um, actually, let, let me change the landers to a uh, Caldeo. So you know. Your your Caldeo is out. You're afraid your opponent is gonna go for Zen headbutt on Metagross. But what can you do? So you have to like dance around it a little bit. So if you think your opponent is going for Zen headbutt, uh, you know you go into your heat trend on the Zen and you dance around that because you're you're afraid of both uh, Hammer Arm or EQ. So then you dance around that. Go to Tornadus and now you can finally threaten Metagross out with the heat wave so that that's just one tiny example of you know dancing around metagross until you have a good positioning like sir mentioned all right thank you for the um re re relate relatable and relevant example okay now now we'll get to the uh checks yep. so yep. first one you can, can go first of all, the most infamous physical attacker in or sou Mega Medicham. Uh, so Mega Medicham noted notorious for just grabbing kills with Hydrogen Kick, uh, but it also has plenty of other tools uh, to work with. It's got double priority with Fake Out Bullet Punch, and uh, the fourth slot is usually like a freebie, so you always have to watch around for that coverage. It can Ice Punch your Landris, it can T Punch your Water Types. So this is oftentimes the one you have to dance around a little bit too. Uh, usually, you can uh, check it uh, better offensively than uh, defensively, and that, that's the general rule for most of the mods in this tier. Um, but, uh... Sorry, it was bothering me. <laughs> okay, okay, no worries. Uh, so, yeah, anything faster than 100 uh, base speed. Uh, so, 299 of Advent. Mo I, I'd say most good Medichams are Adamant. Uh, very few percent of, the, of Medichams are Jolly. Uh, and um, don't use Mega Diancy to check Mega Medicham unless you're 100% sure 
that Medi Mega Medicham is not Bullet Punch. Uh, other than that, I think anything faster you can probably do with it. Uh, you can, if you're Metagross is Mega Evolved, you can do with it. Uh, if you have like a um, Pimmon Zard Y, if you had like Thunders or Weavile or actually not Weavile, Weavile might get Bullet Punch, uh, Tornadus. Uh, La Funny, that sort of stuff. Yeah, as long usually like Medicham is bulk, like isn't that bulky, so you can revenge kill with more stuff that's faster. Um, defensive checks, Clef and Slowbro are the main ones. Uh, you might see Mega Slowbro uh, sometimes. Uh, Mew is a, is a viable defogger, so you might see that switch into Mega Medicham. Uh, Reuniclus and Slowking they aren't used as much, but they can still switch into Heisen Creek pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't believe how many tables there were. I'm so sorry. It's all good. It's all good. So yeah, um, usually a good benchmark of wh whether a team is good or bad is uh, whether well, or not Medi can just win by clicking high jump kick. So if you at least have you know one pivot to go into for Mega Medi Cham, you are probably good. Uh, or if your team is a straight up faster, you're probably good versus that too. Uh, I, I guess I should put another disclaimer here. Um, if you're building a hyper offense, then you probably don't have to worry about this because most hyper offensive teams are very cookie cutter, so they have, so, you know, they already have solutions to most of the, you know, threats in the tier, and usually they're very fast to begin with, so they don't have to worry about other, most other offensive mods besides like priority users. Uh, so if you're watching, you know, if you if you want to build HO, maybe, uh, you could stick or still stick around. Uh, just to see what mons are threatening in the tier, but usually HO teams, like I said, like pretty cookie cutter. Uh, so you, there's not much flexibility on how to deal with that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, I, I'll agree though. Generally, uh, I would say adamant is the way to go. So if you cannot speed uh, T99, you probably can uh, revenge kill with something. But also just having like like a fat psychic type or a fat fairy, you know, well really Clefable. You're probably good. Oh, and we didn't mention this here also, but uh, protect, protect. In general, like the move protect could be really good because if they go for high jump kick and they miss, suddenly you know there goes half their HP, and then they have to think like, okay, you know, if it becomes like a mind game, like are they going to click protect? Are they going to switch? Do I just go for the kill anyway? You know, so sometimes you just want to protect, even if like it, they go for fake out, it, it'll get it in their head, so. Um, but that's more, I guess, advanced strats. So I guess that's why it's not really put here. But yeah, there's other there's other things. Okay, I guess we'll go to the next one then. Yep, yep. Sounds good. So, common Clefable. So uh, th this one is, I think, notorious if you're uh, a new player or a low on ladder or something. So so, so many teams. I, I feel like if you just want to get points really quick, have common Clefable on your team because it's pretty no-nonsense or it deals with a lot of nonsense. Because you know, it can't get status, or um, well, it can't die from status. You know, generally like like toxic or burn or something. You just set up, and if they have nothing <laughs> that could stop it, and a lot of times they don't because it's a little ladder. Then you kind of just went on the spot. I've had many games on the ladder where I'm using like a, a Clefable team, a Calm Mind, and it just just wrecks it, just wrecks everything. It's great. Um, uh, even we're not on low ladder. Calm Mind Clefable is definitely a threat, and um, in, in many of our previous videos, we mentioned that there are very few things that can get a clean Oko on Clef. But you don't necessarily need a clean Oko if you can two KO it pretty comfortably, you know, without maybe getting T waved or something, or um, you know, get it on the switch. Then that'll suffice as well. So the mods that can do that generally are strong steel types. We mentioned uh, Mega Metagross before. Actually, that's one of them. Another could be Bisharp. Uh, another could be uh, Mega Scissor, especially after an SD. Um, those, those are some of the big ones. Uh, we said Excadrill, right? Uh, Heatran, potentially, if you have like Magma Storm Taunt. Although that's not always um, the most reliable because you know Magma Storm can miss. Sometimes they can get this attack drop with um, Moonblast. Maybe you get, you get knocked off. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that, that can go wrong there. But you know, it's 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 an okay check. Um, uh, poison types. There aren't that many st uh, strong poison type Pokemon, I say, in OU. You know, Mega Venusaur is one. Um, Dragalge, not OU. 
by usage, but you know it's still viable in you in OU. You know more niche roles that that, that can uh, Oko with its uh, poison uh, sludge wave. Uh, Needle King can do it sometimes, or it's a roll. Forget. Um, yeah. So was, oh, <laughs> I guess Mega Bee Drill. I think is a roll. It does not actually kill most of the time or all the time or at all. I forget. I remember being I remember being disappointed though. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, if you get some chip, then then it probably kill with poison jab. And then uh, honestly, I, I think the most reliable one though is a uh, strong fire types because uh, and when I say strong fire type, it could be a uh, I, I think a town flame because town flame resists fairy. It has taunt. It also has um. Also resists uh, fire. So a lot, a lot of times the most common uh, other move. On cleft besides Moonblast will be Flamethrower. Now if it's Ice Beam uh, Life Orb, that's a little uh, more iffy, but, but generally you'll see Moonblast and or Flamethrower on there. And Talon Flame can deal with both while taunting, while also using Clef as a potentially setup. Um, yeah, so th those types tend to do well against Clef. And defensively, we mentioned uh, Excadrill offensively, also works defensively. Even if they have Flamethrower, if you're Spadef, you can EV it to uh, avoid the 2 KO, while you 2 KO with Iron Head. It's a little investment. I uh, mentioned Town Flame again. You know, this is a lot of these checks, <laughs> you know, they're, they're also uh, defensive checks. So Town Flame is one. Heatran, uh, Quad Fairy Resist, and then Fire Immunity with Flash Fire. And of course, it wouldn't care about Ice Beam if it had it. So defensively, Heatran is one of the best ones. You just got to be wary of the rare um, knockoff and the more common T-Wave. And then Volcanion, uh, s similar deal, resists both the f uh, Fairy and Fire Stab. Quad resists the Fire, and oh, that's not Stab, sorry. The Fire move, and uh, Volcanion, of course, Quad resists Fire with its Fire Art Water typing. And it also has Haze, has Roar, has uh, st pretty strong uh, Steam Eruptions and stuff. Uh, no, I, I, will, I will say, um, you're probably not going to break through with Volcanion, but you can annoy it and potentially stall it out with Haze and stuff, and it, it probably won't kind of do much back to you. True. Once again, also has knockoff. You know, like, like you said, Clef is, is one of those really annoying mons where if it if it's the right set, it can just kind of uh, shrek certain checks or would be checks. Yeah. So you got to watch out. So this, these aren't. It really depends on what, what the Clef is. Um. But yeah, but if it's Specs Volcanion, you know, like it could kill with overheat most of the time. So that's that's something. Then we got Jirachi. So uh, not as common, but also really good. I mean, you could just Iron Head possibly and Serene Grace, Serene Serene Grace, just you know, take care of it. So that's that's an option. Not always reliable exactly, but you know, maybe get a sub or something or just. I don't know, maybe, maybe do more like a funny like power punch set. Potentially, could do it, but or you know, or just have like a regular. Well, I don't say regular, but a once regular, uh, special defensive Jirachi with like you know T Wave, Iron Head, Stealth Rocks, U Turn or whatever or Wish. So, yeah, generally like the, the types that Fairy resist, or sorry, the, the types that are resisted by Fairy. Are um, those monsters tend to be able to deal with it? But like I said, Clef has such great utility, so it, it may not always uh, you know work out, or it may, it may or at least it, it may not leave you unscathed, unscathed after that. So it is very, very, very rarely a, a clean kill with Clef. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Anything else, Anvil, or I like oversay no, it? I, I, think you, I think you made an excellent point about stuff not being able to come. You know, dealing with Clef, like Clef would, Clef takes something from you guys, both both physically and and mentally. So yeah, just something to watch out. For. Yeah, so we're still in the one hundreds. You know, team building one o whatevers. When we get to team building two o's, you know, we'll talk more about the ways that you know stuff that looks like checks on paper could uh you know work around that more. But you guys ain't ready yet, or maybe some of you are, but we're not we're not ready yet. There you go. Okay, what's the next one? I forgot. Choice Specs Keldeo. Ah. Is this a Fallen Titans episode? What? <laughs> yeah, so I, I think uh, Keldeo 
Kelsey was one of those moms that's, that's been on a roller coaster uh, ever since it came out in Gen 5. But, yep, uh, usually it, 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 it has left its mark on ORAS. I believe Keldio has influenced much of what the meta was like pre screens and pre um pre webs and stuff. But most teams uh you know have to have some way of dealing with Keldio. So uh this is where the advent of, you know, A V twenty is came, that new slow bro spread, uh with the Morse Padef came, uh as well as a bunch of other uh slow bro I mean not slow bro checks, uh Keldio checks team. Uh so main deal with Keldio, it is a special attacker, but it can also hit physical with uh, Seeker Sword, and it has access to Scald, so on paper, this looks like it could be ban-worthy straight up, just because of how much of a nuisance it is uh, on paper, that is, but there are pretty good number of switch into Keldio in the tier, uh, not to mention the multiple ways you can check it offensively. So let, let, let's start with the offensive checks real quick. So uh, usually fast electric types uh, that can be like a Choice Scarf Mon, like Choice Scarf Magnazone, Choice Scarf Rotom. That can also include stuff that's naturally fast, um, like Thunderous and uh, even Mega Main too. Um, and then you have strong flying types. So this can be like fast flying types in general, like uh, Tornadus T. Uh, but it can also be like flying types with uh, you know strong priority. Uh, that can be stuff like Talon Flame and Mega Pinsir. And then you have stuff that is usually, you know, more offensively nowadays, and that is Serp. And then stuff that has always been used to check Keldeo, uh, which is like Psychic type. So this, this can be like Zen Headbutt Metagross. Uh, can also be uh, like Alakazam as well. Um, and then defensively, uh, you have a couple of Mons. Mo most of them are like Regen Mons. Uh, I think that the most viable ones are the regen mons, in my opinion. Uh, but Slowbro, AV20, Among Us, they're all regen mons. Uh, so, you know, they don't have to worry about Skull too much. Uh, Mega Venusaur, unfortunately, got the short of the end of the stick. Uh, we know with the no regen and limited recovery with synthesis. Uh, but it is a solid Keldeo switch in. I'll give it that. And it also, you know, checks a lot of other uh, threats in the tier. Um, it, it is a very underrated mod, which uh, we'll, we'll keep that for a different video, but uh, yeah, Starmie can also switch into Keldeo, and then uh, Jellicent, I'd say, is the closest thing you have to a Keldeo counter, but can deal with basically all forms of Keldeo, even if it's HP Grass, uh, you, you, you tank a hit pretty easily, and you can just switch out uh, and then heal back later, no problem. And then you have the Lotties, so Lotties used a lot back in the day, but if you see our, our Fallen, Fallen Titan video, uh, you'll know why the Ladio, Latios in particular isn't used as much anymore. Uh, with Latios, you have a little bit more bulk, so, you know, Keldeo was pursuit, plus Pursuit was a big thing back in the day. It's still pretty, pretty scary now, uh, but I think Latios has a better chance versus that um, compared to Latio, so that's why it's on this list. Uh, main thing with Keldeo is um, it does have a solid water resist uh, that doesn't mind getting Secret Sword. So even, even stuff like... Uh, even stuff like Tang and Volcanion can try to switch into Keldeo. Oh, oh and uh, what's it called? Um, Gastrodon, too. Uh, but you just gotta watch out for uh, Focus Blast variations, because they can absolutely nuke uh, stuff like Gastrodon and uh, Volcanion. But if if you can, like, scout for it, th this is also one of those mods you gotta dance around. Uh, so, but, and, and it's a bit easier, because Keldeo is locked. Uh, so... You know, you just have to see it click one move, and then you know what it's going for. Uh, usually, you don't see Calma and Keldeo as much, but, I mean, you, you'll know. And it, you'll notice the damage output immediately be different. Uh, but, yeah, it's another mod you just have to dance around. Um, usually, if you have a switch into Keldeo, you probably have a switch in to many other water types in the tier. This is why, like... Keldeo is such a big deal because it, it kind of shaped the way the mega metagame forms. Like, if you have a Slowbro and uh, Starmie, AV Torn on the team, you probably have a switch into most of the other mods in the tier as well. So, that's why um, Keldeo is such a big deal to you know ch have a ch check for that in your checklist. I agree. Okay, <laughs> that's about it.
Okay, next one. Of, oh, what's this? Coronavirus? The original coronavirus? Okay. Oh, yeah. So, whole corona. So, uh, I think besides Calmine Clefable, uh, on, on, one of the other biggest things you got to prep for, especially when you're first starting, is this thing, Volcarona. So, yeah, I think Vol Volcarona is a good litmus test to see if your team's actually good. Because if you can't, if you can't deal with uh, this Pokemon after it sets up a Quiver Dance, you know, it, it's it's basically game over. So Volcarona is really uh, uh, scary number of ways. For one, it's uh, got a strong uh, speed stat of 100. You know, which is really solid. And then with, with its uh, set, setup move, Quiver Dance, it gets a plus one in special attack, special defense, and speed. So it raises like half its stats at once. And its typing, you know, Fire Bug, actually has some solid resists. So some forms of priority either don't kill or um, they get punished they try to kill. For instance, um, you know, if you get a, if you use Aqua Jet, maybe from like a Crawdont, for instance. And you don't kill because it, it, it is a roll technically, and sometimes they do run bulky, which you know, again, to that another time. So you'll get burned, they live, and then they might giga drain you back for their, for their health back, you know. So it's really scary. So you got to have like a really, you know, surefire way of dealing with this thing. But thankfully, you know, as, as uh, scary as, as it is, it's, its defensive typing is very exploitable with its um, weakness to rocks. You know, it takes half its health from rocks, so you want to try to keep rocks on the field when this thing comes in. And if you have a, you know, a Pokemon with rocks that maybe, uh, you know, could either live it or um, lure it in and then kill it with like a, a rock slide or something, then nice. Good for you. But um, the safest, the safest uh, the offensive check is Talonflame because Talonflame could just come in, as long as it's not up, you can either Brave Bird, Acrobatics it or whatever, and then oftentimes you just kill it from there. I say the next best is a uh, Crowdont. If it's a, uh, you know, if it, you use Aqua Jet, if it's a uh, Choice Banded, I think it pretty much always kills at least all the offensive versions. Um, some of them have Paschal Berry though, which, you know, that, that would, um, that would have the uh, water type damage, in which case it wouldn't kill. But I don't think that's as common nowadays, although you might still sometimes see it. But, yeah. He was, people, for some reason, people never really ran the uh, flying resist berry. I guess maybe because I'm not sure why actually. When I think about it. Oh, anyway, um, Ozzy similar to Crawdont, similar uh, amount of power. Same same kind of thing, you know. Choice band, Aqua Jet. There you go. Water, put out fire. Yeah, uh, Mega Pinsir. Also has priority. And it's got a quick attack, but with its ability, Aerolite, it becomes flying, so then it becomes super effective, and then, yeah, it can check it. Of course, you can't switch in. You'll, you'll get roasted. Uh, Dragonite. So Dragonite is interesting because it has um, great typing against it, it, its stabs. So you know it's an, an offensive check, unless the uh, Volcarona is running, like, HP Ice, which is pretty rare. You'll probably resist and, and live an attack. Also, they don't have uh, hazards up, or your HP is at full, and you have the right ability and multi-scale. You'll live whatever, and then you can you know, attack it back with a maybe a choice banded outrage or whatever other other move you have. Maybe a I don't think this gets rock slide. Oh yeah, probably, probably outrage is the safest bet to kill. Okay, you got choice scarf users uh, with with a rock move. Oh, God. I don't know what's going on with my grammar today, guys. I'm so sorry. My typos. Usually I... I was, like, distracted, I guess. So, I stretch six choice scarf users with rock move. Like Garchomp. Uh, trick thunder... Oh, I still like it. I'm so sorry. You're doing a lie, folks. So, Garchomp. Um, maybe Landorus. Uh, those, I was saying those are the big two. So, Garchomp's really nice in particular because after a plus one... After it gets the uh, Quiver Dance up, Garchomp would still outspeed it with a Scarf. And then you just Revenge Kill it with a, maybe Rock Slide, Rock Tomb, Stone Edge if you're risky, something risky like that. Uh, then we got uh, Trick, or Thunder Wave Latias, which if it's not a Lumberry, 
You know, Thunder Wave is great, although you're probably sacrificing your Latias. But Trick is really good, too, because then they'll be locked into their move. And let's say they're locked into Bug Buzz or a Fire Move, then you have a Heatran or something, then, you know, it's basically useless at that point. It has to switch. Um, and then Mega Aerodactyl. Also could resist its stabs. And then kill it back probably with a uh, Aerial Ace. Now, it's not listed here, but another possible answer is a very spe spe uh, special defensive uh, Tyranitar could come in and kill it with uh, any rock move. But it's also, you know, a little less reliable because you have to take a, uh, an attack first. So it's more like a defensive check, I guess. It could be either one. Anyway, but defensive checks, so, though. Volcanion is probably one of the biggest ones. You resist fire. Quad, re quad resist, like we said before. It's still quad resist for, with Volcarona. And you resist bug. And you, you resist, like, um, actually, you know, you know, you don't resist HP ground. But you, you can probably, you should live that. And then you could, you could haze it. You could roar it. You could steam it. So it's pretty solid. Tunnel Flame. Now, unless it's, it's running HP rock, which, you know, it, it, it's always possible, you can just sometimes go hard with, hard in with a Tunnel Flame and just uh, click your flying move. Uh, Chansey. It's Chansey, you know, it's super fat HP, super big special defense stat. You just, you know, toxic it until it dies, basically. Uh, Porygon 2, very close to my heart. It's like a more offensive Chansey. And if you run Psych Up, and this is, I, I just see myself do it, honestly. But if you can run Psych Up to set up alongside it, and then like maybe like Discharge para paralyze it, and then um, you can bring in something else later to Revenge Kill if the Porygon doesn't do it. So... Uh, Smackdown Tornado ST. So Tornado ST often runs Assault Vest, which increases its special defense. And you can smack it down. So it's a rock move, and it'll 2 a KO the Volcarona. And I believe it never misses. So that's nice. Although, you, you, once again, you probably have to take a, quite a bit of damage before you get it killed. And then, last but not least, Roar Suicune. The Suicune's pretty, pretty fat. And it, it, it could take its, you know, it, could, it resists fire. It could take a bug move. You can roar it out. Or if you're setting up, this, setting up at the same time, you can come on alongside it, I guess, and then um, maybe beat it that way. Though that's probably riskier. But if you have roar, it's probably it's safer. Of course, if, if it's end game, then, you know, you gotta hope, uh, you know, you got some of that, something else going on for you. But yeah, those, those are the, the main uh, responses to Volcarona. Um. Yeah, it's 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 pretty scary, pretty threatening. But if you have hazards, if you're able to haze it or um, roar it out, or uh, maybe even taunt it, you know, that could be good. We didn't put that there, but uh, taunt's always nice for that. You can probably deal with it. Yeah, yeah. and and something to note. Um, we didn't put Heatran on here. Uh, just because it is an iffy Volk check at best. Um, yeah, HP Ground is the most common hidden power, I'd say. Yeah. They run that. No, that, that when, uh, you know, you guys know about uh, coronavirus, right? So, Volk Corona was very popular uh, in the last couple of years, and, and for that very reason, uh, everybody was crazy about Volk and HP Ground Volk, so that's why Heatran used to drop down dramatically. So, that's uh, that's what really happened, guys, but. Yeah. Okay, wait, that's about it for Volcarona. Definitely can't sleep on it. Although, what's funny is actually one of my highest um, r ranking teams, like on the, on the ladder, had like no Volcarona answer, but I still like went pretty high on it. So, just because so that just goes to show, just because you're high on the ladder, doesn't mean you have a good team. <laughs> it just means maybe either you got lucky or, or anyone else is prepping for you. You know. But anyway, you're here or there. Okay, Anvil, why don't you tell us about Swords Dance Bisharp? So, Bisharp, uh, usually on most teams, when you see a Bisharp, it's like, oh man. Uh, but yeah, usually it's it's on uh, HO team. So, notoriously, Bisharp had, had been on webs, and that was to deter hazard removal like Defog. 
And I think this is like one of the biggest, uh, you know, reasons why Latios and Latias dropped in usage as hazard remover, as hazard removers, because they gave Bish a chance to, you know, set up. And then they couldn't touch Bish because usually they were locked. So Bish often got to plus four by setting up another like Swords Dance on them, uh, which is honestly pretty scary to deal with. So uh, the problem with Bish is Bish has really solid staff coverage and it has, uh, well, you know, one of the strongest priority moves in the game. Uh, not um, some measly 40 base power move. It has, you know, base 70 power Sucker Punch with just with just stab. Uh, so that can oftentimes decimate offensive teams that really don't have an answer to this uh and uh yeah this is um you know this is this is a mon that we're we're like it, it is kind of matchup dependent like if, if you have something for bish uh that's good but other times like you you kind of have to pray in, in a sense so um usually offensive checks to this are faster Pokemon with fighting type coverage, so they don't have to be solely fighting types. Like, uh, I can give you some examples. So you know, um, Eldio, Terrakion, uh, those are fighting types that can resist uh, Sucker Punch, but you don't need to be fighting type. You just need to resist Sucker Punch. Uh, so you know, something like Choice Scarf, Tornado, Tire with the uh, Superpower would also work. Uh, Lapunny would work, though it would get extremely chipped in the process. But you know, as a last resort, that could work. Um, Usually, the, the, you know, um, for this, although we were saying it's better to offensively check stuff like this, I think with Bish, unless you have like a Talon Fame or, uh, you know, a Cobalion or a Zapdos or something like that, then maybe it's better to check it. Uh, oh, so sorry. Uh, let, me, let me say that again. Um, usually for these threats, you want to check them offensively. Uh, but for Bish, I think it's better to, you know, check it defensively because most of your offensive checks are going to get severely chipped by Sucker Punch in the process. Uh, so, you know, unless you have a Talon Fame and stuff, which is honestly, I think, your more defensive answer, uh, then you're probably going to get, like, really chipped down or, you know, you might get KO'd sometimes too. Like, I I've seen Keldeo, you know, if, if Keldeo is chipped a little bit, then you can take it out with a couple boosts to Sucker Punch. So that 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 is a something to watch out for but i think defensively i'd say town is the best check uh to it because usually kind of doesn't really depend on how much health you have you kind of just have to will a wisp it and then you know roost off or SD, sd up yourself and uh deal with it that way good score you need enough health uh to deal with plus two knock off and into sucker punch uh guard chomp you also kind of need health on it but usually it can, it can deal with a Bishar pretty easily, either by Dragon Tailing it out or, or EQ. Uh, Rotom, you have to pray to hit with a Wisp. Uh, Skarm, you can easily take a hit and then Whirlwind it out. Uh, Zapdos can uh, deal with it decently. Uh, you just have to watch out for um, uh, su uh, Sucker Punch, because if Bish is uh, boosted enough, then you can't really Heat Wave it. So that's something to watch out for. Uh, Quag is all right. Just watch out for getting flinched. Uh, Koba, I'd say, is very underrated, and I think it's the best one uh, to do with Bish. Uh, if it has the, you know, if it has enough health, that is. Um, and that's because uh, it resists both of uh, Bisharp's stab stabs. It gets a justified boost on Sucker, and then um, it's already faster than Bish, so yeah, they have to Sucker you. Uh, so you can just kill it with the CC. And it naturally has high defense to begin with, so it can deal with it pretty effectively. I think Bish is a, uh, it's definitely a scary mon to deal with, and uh, sometimes a, a lot of teams don't have an answer to this, which is kind of scary, uh, because it can absolutely like demolish teams uh, with this covered op coverage option. So, you know, just something to watch out for. I think as long as you have like a, if you if you can like check most of the other mons in the tier, you'll probably have a uh you know a way to deal with Bish anyways. Like Rotom and Guard Chomp and Zapdos are already used enough in the tier that you probably already have an answer to Bish. But if you don't, then you know check out for these and uh you can make use of them. Okay. I got nothing really. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I, I will say, though, um, 
Do not run Jolly Visharp. I think it's so bad. There's so many there's so many things you miss out on when you run Jolly. That's it. Um Yep. That's about it. Yeah, this thing's scary threat still. Okay, next up. So we got these two together because uh reasons. So they got nasty plot thunderous, and this is a thunderous uh incarnate, not Therian, and Tailwell Manaphy. So what, what these guys have in common is they're both uh, pretty threatening special attackers. They do it in different ways. So Thunderous has really nice typing. It's got the Zapdos typing. And even though it doesn't really use its uh, flying stab for uh, offense, just having like Zapdos typing, even with like even with this mediocre bulk, still makes it like like kind of annoying to kill. You know, a lot of times you, you give it leftovers or you know you, you live an attack that. Or it'll live an attack that you wouldn't expect, and it just keeps like you know it gets another kill, and it gets access to nasty plot prankster, so you can thunder wave. You can get your uh, um, I mean, you'll probably get the nasty plot off without needing the prankster anyway, but you know you get bolt beam with you know HP ice and then uh, focus blast, so you can basically hit like almost a, like everything. That's with that combo, so it's really really threatening, and the speed tier is like what one eleven, so it just outspeeds. The base one tens, so like Mega Metagross, Mega Deancy, the Lotties, Keldeo, you know, they're all at sped, and then probably killed by this. And then you have uh, Tail Glow Manaphy, which uh, Manaphy's not quite as fast, you know, it's got the same stats as Mew and the other um, 100s across the board, Mons like, you know, Jirachi and Celebi and so forth, but it has one of the scariest setup moves in Tail Glow, which gives it a plus three to its special attack. So ordinarily 100's pretty average, maybe like below average nowadays. But after plus three, and with like, you know, the, the 100's cross the board, means it has really good bulk, just naturally. And the typing's water, so it's already like one of the best defensive types. And you combine that with his move pool, which, you know, you get Surf, Scald, Energy Ball, Ice Beam. Keep can run HP Fire if you, if, if you really just hate Fire Thorns that much. And, and that's all you need, you know? And then you, 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 you could just go on a tear. And if you're afraid of being set up on, you could run Rain Dance, which boosts your water moves while also um, getting rid of your status every turn. So they try to Toxic you, go for a Rain Dance, Toxic's gone. You know? So it, it, these guys can, can set up really, really fast and hit really hard. And they could do it pretty consistently. Like, like you said, because their defensive typing is pretty good. They have solid um, solid enough t uh, stats and move pools. So definitely things to, to watch out for. So defensive checks. Ferrothorn. So Ferrothorn, especially in the case of Manaphy, <laughs> or hopefully it's not HP Fire, can power whip it back. And there you go. Can be dealt with. Uh, Volcanion has a water absorbability, so it doesn't care about the water. And Energy Ball is just neutral. So if you can haze it, if you can uh, roar it out, you know, pretty nice. Empoleon, this is mostly just for uh, uh, Manaphy. But Empoleon, same thing as uh, Volcanion, it, it doesn't care about the water. Though it's not immune, it's you know quad resisted. So, you know, it, it can take an attack on the water side and, you know, roar it out. Uh, Sweet Coon can do the same thing. Could also, if it's not Energy Ball, maybe set up on it, maybe. But you know, Roar is probably more uh, more viable there. And you got uh, the Hard Counter for and it's kind of for both of them. Uh, Mega Venusaur. So Mega Venusaur is nice. It has the uh, the grass. Yes, yeah, the thick fat. It's got thick fat. It's got you know also just uh, grass and poison is pretty solid typing, so it doesn't care about uh, electric, doesn't care about water, and then it doesn't care about the ice from the uh, ice beams and HP ices from them, and then you can just you know hit them pretty hard back. You know it's got a pretty solid uh, special attack, so you just you know go for a stab Giga Drain on Manaphy or Leaf Storm maybe, or just like stab a uh, Sludge Bomb on Thunderous. So if you want like a really hard counter. 
There you go. Mega Venusaur. And then there's Chansey, which, unless that Thunderous is, is not a nasty plot, you know, if it's like a mixed set or a bulk up set, Chansey can deal with it pretty easily. Okay, so that's defensively. Now, offensively, though, it's a little more, uh, a little different. So Scarf Magnazone outspeeds both of them. Can just Volt Switch or T Bolt out. Weavile, even though it doesn't like. Sir. Yeah, sorry, I had a um, yell for no reason. Anyway, uh, I think I left off head Weavile. So Weavile, like pr pretty great at dealing with Thunderous. Granted, it's not thun uh, Thunder Wave at speeds, just kills it with a I think knockoff or Ice Cold Crash. So that's pretty easy. For Manaphy, it does a, a butt ton of damage with a uh, Choice Band knockoff, and um. If you get some chip, you'll you know kill it, and then you'll still have your Weavile. If not, it'll be weakened enough, or hopefully you have something else that can outspeed it or live an attack to finish it off. But Weavile is pretty uh, threatening. They, they, they won't just set up on a Weavile, especially if, if it's the last one for a knockoff. Alakazam, Mega Alakazam. So Mega Alakazam also outspeeds both. Although, for Mega Alakazam, it, it can click Encore, so they'll be locked into either Nancy Plot or Tail Glow, while it'll just go for uh, Psychics on them. Uh, Mega Low Punny can also do the same thing with Encore, and it could also, um, you know, just go for its priority in a uh, Fake Out and Quick Attack, or uh, Ice Punch for Thunderous, or High Jump Kick to uh, Manaphy. Though I think technically Return or Frustration would do more damage to Thunderous. Um, yeah, so I mean either one, if you ha if you have either one, be fine. But Return would do a little more to Thunderous. And then Mega Manetric, once again, kind of like hard counters both of them. Offensively, you know, you, you'll do a butt ton with a T Bolt. You'll just, I'm pretty sure you'll just Oko Manaphy. Well, actually, do you, I don't know if you, if you actually Oko. That's right, that's right, yeah, yeah. I, I knew it was close, but it doesn't quite do it. So if you have some chip, you can beat the Manaphy. But, you know, it's, it's still a, a, a pretty solid check, you know, just can't do it from full. Unless you're uh, modest, I think. Modest could probably do it. If not, you can go for Thunder if you want to test your luck. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, Mega Sceptile. Both outspeeds, both. Gets the uh, electric, um, gets a boost from the lightning rod, I mean. You know, plus one's attack. And, yeah, it could just deal with both. You know, Leaf Storm will just obliterate Manaphy, and Dragon Pulse will do a, a good number to uh, Thunderous. I also want to mention Septa has a niche in, in Oras where like it, it's it's one of the few mods that can Oko uh, bulky Manaphy. So not even you know, not even Thunderous can do it. Not even uh, Medicham can do it all the time. Not even um, Solar Beam uh, Mega Charger can do it. Uh, like we just said, Mega Main can't do it unless it's Modest or something. Uh, Magnezone can't do it either. So yeah, that, that that's one niche for Mega Septa. So, so I to, I, I of course, no, 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 no worries. That's, that's your boy. That's your boy right there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think that's very much for for all both of these. So I, I would say that uh, Oras in general, uh, Oras OU, is very dominated by uh, physical attackers. So much of the metagame is uh, more catered towards um, like defense. And there's only a few. I'd say like only a few, but. There aren't as many mods that are just strictly uh, there for their special defense. You know, like even Chansey, like it's, it's it's good both sides. You know, on, on both sides of the spectrum. Like the only one I can think of that's you know more uh, especially bulky consistently is a uh, Tornadus Therian. Most of the other ones, you know, it, it may be mixed or just m mostly on the physical side. So when you have like a, a special attacker like a Thunderous or Manaphy that can just you know get a lot of points or uh, get a lot of buffs in a hurry. It can overwhelm those um, typical uh, defensive checks. And, and there's like plenty of uh, infamous matches that I'm sure you guys have watched back in like, you know, when Oras was main gen. Uh, I'm pretty sure most people have heard of that, you know, CDC match versus um, PDC, where he like six sold him in, in like a small gun finals or something match with Manaphy. Uh, 
And then there's also that infamous blunder match versus uh Savoris where he used like hard swap mana fee. But that, that that's like that you know that's a, a niche thing. But I think that p the the people uh, usually think of the CDC versus PDC match where mana fee kind of just went in. Um, that's that's what mana mana fee can often do to many teams. And you know so sometimes it is like a rude awakening for many team builders because they they just think of mana fee and they're like oh come on man like why is why is Zaman? Um, but yeah, usually like, there 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 are definitely options to deal with it. This is something you have to look out for. Yep. Okay, I'm tired of talking about Manaphy. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so oh, we're we're done with like the um, just outright mons you should uh, prep for in the builder. Now we're gonna talk about resists that are just too good to resist. <laughs> oh, <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Phil, you got this one. <laughs> so this this is a this is a bonus we wanted to throw in for you guys. Uh, dark resist. So knockoff has been buffed in Gen six. So you know having a no solid uh, knockoff resist, dark resist in general would be very nice. Uh, Clef easily able to deal with that. Um, usually the main knockoff users you have to worry about are like Tornadus T, uh, other Clef too, I guess. Weavile. I'm sorry, I'll stop talking. Bish, so Clef can't really deal with Bish, but it can deal with most of the other uh, knockoff users. Maybe Landorus too, I, I, I can say. Yes, yes, that is true, Landorus too. Um, there's not really many, you know, defensive fighting types uh, in the tier, so they can't really, you know, switch into knockoff uh, that easily. Um, another Mon that might be able to switch into, you know, dark types... Um, Uh, what's it called? Talonflame. Huh. Talonflame can, oh yeah, da yeah. Talonflame can take a uh, knockoff if it's yeah, uh, EV right. that way. Yeah. So the main deal with Talonflame, the Talonflame doesn't run an item, so it can deal with knockoff pretty easily. Even if you run an item, yeah, like Sarah said, you're EV to take uh, it. Uh, so that's dark resist, flying resist. Uh, this is for stuff like uh, tornadoes, but it's also uh useful for you know sweepers like town flame and mega pincer and some of those include like defensive electric types such as rotom wash and zapdos that can uh, deal with those effectively um next up is the immunity so uh you know immunities i'd say are a bit better than resist but it's, it's always good to have both uh, so now ground immunities i think this is one of the things that should be mandatory on a team and the main reason for that is uh, you don't want to get swept by Choice Scarf, Landris, or like Sandra's Exodrill. Uh, so that's why these mods are in here. So some of them include Rotom Wash, which has Levitate, uh, Tornadus T, and Landris T, which are flying types. Uh, just watch out for Rotom. Uh, Exodrill can run Mold Breaker too, so it can, you know, ignore your Levitate and hit you super effectively with Earthquake. So that's, you know, if you're using a Levitate mod, it's a pseudo ground immunity. Uh, I'd say a solid ground immunity would probably just be Torn or Lando instead. But, uh, Yep, uh, next up, Electric Immunity, so this is kind of, you know, interesting in Oras because most of the Electric types can punish your grounds, uh, so, it, you know, it's nice to have an immunity, but, you know, it's also good to have, like, a resist, too, just in case, too, or, or uh, you know, a good special switch in, in general, like Clef, that can deal with status and stuff, too, so the main re reason I would say that, um, most electrics can deal with ground in some way, shape, or form is because Rotom is, a, I'd say, the predominant electric uh, type in a tier that it can annoy grounds with its water type coverage and will of us mostly. So, you know, having a drill Lando and Garchomp is nice, but you just gotta watch out for will of us. Um, but still, you know, solid to have nonetheless to deal with, you know, many of the other electric types in a tier. So, you know, being able to switch into Zapdos is. The default Zapdos is, is pretty nice. Um, you also have to watch out for HPIs, but if, if it's just default Zapdos with Heat Wave, you're you're good to, to go with stuff like Lando and Chomp. Gastrodon, I'd probably say the safe safe fist switching into most electric types in the tier. Um, that and uh, Hippowdon too. Uh, we didn't put that that scorpion looking guy because he is very susceptible to being HPIs. Um, and we, we just you know we have a whole video on it, but. Yeah, uh, water immunities. You know these these are kind of rare to come by, and uh, it, it is very nice to have them. So 
The main ones used currently in this meta are Volcanin and Gastro. Uh, Jellicent isn't used that much. Uh, Sagmatoad, much respect to you if you use Sagmatoad, my G. I know C C CBV used it, but uh, yeah, Volcanin and Gastro, your main water immunity is really nice to switch into Scald. A very underrated ability to have for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, you just being able to scald, switch into Scald is a huge deal because, you know, even if you're resist to water, you're still gonna get, you know, burnt and chipped that way. So you know, water immunity really nice to have. Yeah, agreed. I think the only thing uh, did we mention Tangrowth? I don't remember for um, ground. Well, it's not a, a ground immunity, but it's like ground resist. Oh yeah, yeah true. So he, good. yeah, and also can can somewhat deal with a uh, Rotom Wash, even if it's the physical defensive kind. True, true. But yeah, you don't really see uh, Tangrowth as much, I think, as he used to. Yeah, so these are some options if you want like a you know pretty, you know brainless response. It's like oh they got knockoff, a uh, clef. Like oh they got like a uh, flying move, a uh, zapdos or whatever you know. Okay, so that's some nice ones. Okay, now so these are some uh, these are definitely some threatening mons, but they don't have to be that scary to deal with like some of the other ones that we talked about. So these guys typically don't snowball; they're more just uh, either breakers or. They can be worn down after a while, or you just have like a you know a way to just outspeed it and, and deal with it. So uh, uh, Mega Zard Y, super threatening. You know, very scary wall breaker. Got pretty high special attack. You know, plus the uh, the drought from the sun basically gives it like a choice specs with its fire moves. But if you just have a uh, rock coverage on like a scarfer against it. Or just like a faster mount with rock, it can't really do much. It, it, it's it'll be scared out. Or just have rocks up, you know, stealth rocks. You know, it, just like Volcarona, Vol it'll take basically half its health and damage. It comes down on rocks, so get rocks up. You can paralyze it. If, oh, you keep it parallel. Yeah, you, you could just paralyze it turn one with Clef. Get rocks up, or switch out, switch out, and get rocks up with like maybe something else because Clef probably won't be able to take two. As fire moves, and then uh, yeah, slow it down, and then something else with rocks it doesn't even have to be like that fast. But just after T wave, it'd be faster. You mean like a tang growth, you know? Like I've run like rock fly on tang growth, and then just you know bop it, you know? It's great. So it's pretty, not too bad to deal with. Uh, Mega Manetric. So this one, once again, doesn't really snowball. It's more of like a, of just like a, a offensive pivot with uh, intimidate. You can kind of just wear it down with like hazards or whatever. And then uh, beat it that way. Now it is like um, it is like Zapdos. It's a it's a rare electric type with coverage, you know, in the form of a flamethrower. So the, the the fire the fire electric ice really goes well together. So it does have that. But you know most scarfers can outspeed it, and then they can revenge it. So you know your, your choice Landos, for instance. Uh, the rare choice uh, Heatran, you know, uh, things like that. Or you just get Hathers up and then, you know, shuffle around that way. And pretty much Clefable tends to be able to beat this, too. So it doesn't even be a resist. Uh, Pinsir. So Pinsir is like completely stonewalled almost by Zapdos, unless you run like Stone Edge. But if you run Stone Edge, then you're completely stonewalled by like Steel types. You know, so generally, uh, Pinsir will, will run close combat or something, or earthquake sometimes. So Zapdos, you know, if if, you, if your team you feel is like too weak to Pinsir, and then maybe see Pinsir's rising in usage for whatever reason, just get a Zapdos. Resist the, the the flying, and then with a little investment, you can take it out with a Thunderbolt if you want to do that. Okay, and well, once again with Zapdos, also pretty easy check or um, often counter to a Scissor. So just run like heat wave, and then it's like toast. And for scissor again, you know, it's, it's a great typing, but it is quad weak to fire. So you know, a fast fire type or a fire type that can live in its, live its attacks just goes for a fire move and beats it pretty consistently. So great, I love I love scissor mega, but yeah, it's not not the hardest thing to to deal with. Uh, mega metagross. Super threatening, but the things that that beat it are kind of funny. So Scissor Mega Scissor kind of just you know comes in on it pretty consistently, doesn't really care. 
mass attacks. Because Mega, Mega, Mega Metagross has a great move pool, but doesn't have Fire Punch. So it can't deal with uh, Mega Scissor. You know, uh, there's some funny things people used to do back in the day with this matchup, but you know, we're not going to talk about them right now because they're not really relevant. Uh, Slow Bro comes in pretty consistently on uh, Mega Metagross. The only thing I, what I got to watch out for is if they have Thunder Punch sometimes, but even then, I don't think it's a 2 KO. And then, you know, they'll be scared of your T Wave and Skulls and stuff, so, you know, it's whatever. They may have Pursuit um, too, but you know, generally. It, you'll have to be already weakened pretty bad, and then they revenge kill you with that. So that's more of a niche scenario. Tangrowth tends to be really good, even if they have Ice Punch. Once again, I think that's a 3 KO. And then you can, you know, either Earthquake it, HP Fire it back, or Sleep Powder it. And then, you know, each time they, they attack you, 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 you should have Rocky Helmet, so that'll damage them. So it's, it's not really a mon that Me- Mega Megaros wants to see. And then lastly, we have Mew, which uh, t- they tend to run Special Defensive. But you give it a will o wisp and suddenly, you know, Metagross is scared out. So Mew, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good, one of the best uh, answers there. Mega DNC. So it's got incredible uh, coverage. So Dark, I mean, not sorry, Dark, uh, Rock and Fairy, incredible offensive typings, and it even has Earth Power to round it out. So you get, you get Edge Quake, basically, on the special side, well, mixed side, I should say. Because you're, you're running Diamond Sword, which is physical. But, you know, whatever. So you, you get Edge Quake coverage, and then plus Fairy on top of it. So, really good. However, that, that offensive typing, as good as it is, is so bad defensively. So it's quad weak to steal. And it's quad weak to Bullet Punch. And then from Scissor, it, it, it basically just kills it every time. So, you have a Mega Scissor on your team, you just kind of invalidate Mega DNC as well. And then you have things like fast water types. So, um, faster water types are like. How's a fast water type? So maybe, maybe like like a plus one Gyarados or a plus one Gyarados Mega. Just beat it. Um, like a Choice Scarf, a Rotom, you know, stuff like that. But uh, more commonly, you know, fast ground types. So like, uh, Land- Scarf Lander is. Although uh, Scarf Lando is a little, uh, maybe not the best sometimes because, oftentimes, uh, DNCs will run protect, to safely Mega, and they can scout to see if you're going for Earthquake or not. So not always the best. But Bull Punch, brainless, easy. So there you go. And then lastly, uh, Mega Alakazam. So unlike Gen 7, Mega Alakazam is quite not quite as good in Gen 6, but it's still pretty good because, you know, we mentioned the Encore stuff, the, the power. But uh, in this gen, it's also beaten by, uh, you know, Choice Scarf Landorus. You can kind of just go for most moves and, and beat it. Or just strong priority. So if, um, you know, you have like a... SD up with like a Crawdont, you know, I'm pretty sure that, 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 that should easily kill it with Aqua Jet. You know, if you have a Bullet Punch from Scissor, especially after like a plus one or some chip, that'll kill. Uh, Alakazam it doesn't like uh, Tamil Flame, you know, Acrobatics or Brave Bird, it also likes it. So it's, it's, it's very inhospitable uh, climate, like uh, for Alakazam to, to really sweep or get too much done in this gen because of all the priority. Okay, so these are some pretty scary threats, which can be easily handled if you just, you know, use one of these mods or keep some of these things in mind. Yeah. And uh, something I wanted to say, um, if you haven't already checked out our Team Building 102 of how to deal with the, uh, the metagame in mind, we have some good general options to deal with most of the threats in the meta. So we have we, we give suggestions like, you know, trying to fit uh, Scarf Landers on a team as a solid revenge killer. Uh, we also give like solid defensive answers like slow, slow bro and volcanian and stuff like that and like uh you know sand as a means of revenge killing more offensive threats in general too so if you haven't already feel free to check that out after this video as well because we get some we, we give some good uh examples of what to use versus most of the metagame but this this is a good uh, checklist for specific mods that you should be good versus uh but yeah just wanted to throw that in there Yes, be sure to watch all our videos after this one if you haven't. And click all the buttons. Yeah, yeah. 
That is if you love, if you really love us, for true fans. Okay, I'm kidding. Anyway, I think we only have one more slide left. Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay. So that's, this is about uh, checking defensive core pieces. So some of you have been, you know, victim to Rotom Wash and 20ST. Uh, well, it is my job here to say that they are not gods. They can be stopped. Uh, so Rotom Wash, good way to deal with them. Have a good status absorber on your team. Stuff like Clef can be good. Even um, uh, Breloom, Breloom, yeah, that's that's the poison heal mode I'm thinking of. Yep, Breloom. Uh, they just being able to you know uh, switch into both of Rotom stabs is pretty solid. Uh, and then just mods that aren't weak to Volt Switch also do a pretty good job. Uh, Sarah mentioned Tango before, good. Uh, Serp also nice. I'd say there's not really a Rotom counter besides. Rosary, natural cure rosary. That's right, guys. So, the more you know, guys, the more you know. Um, next up, tornadus T. So tornadus T is one of those annoying mons where, uh, it's like left where it it'll always get something out of the turn, whether it be like, you know, hitting you, getting momentum, or at least knocking you off. Uh, but I see a torn. Uh, you know, closest thing you can get to countering torn is have a defensive electric type like Rotom Wash, or Zapdos. Uh, the uptick in Static Zapdos is a really good counter to Torn because they don't want to even U-turn or knock off on you and because they fear being static. Uh, so that is really nice to have on your team if you can fit it. Uh, and then something, you know, that can trap Tornado's T or if at least for, for 50 is Choice Band Weavile. So Weavile can pursue uh, Tornado's T or out just outright just kill it with its stab options. Uh, so that's one way to deal with Torn. Um, there's also a couple other pursuit options you can use if Tornadus is like chipped a little bit. So you know, pursuit Tyranitar is up one. Uh, but yeah. Uh, next up we have you know the Spike Core. So you have either Skarm or Pharaoh, which can honestly be pretty annoying to many. You know, bulky offense teams and you know fatter teams. And actually, Spikes are good in general. So uh, main deal to deal with Skarm. Uh, have have them burnt. Uh, so oftentimes, uh, if you have like a hazard remover, uh, they can one v one Skarm or Pharaoh as long as they're burnt. So you know that's that's one niche that something like Starmy or Empo would have, where if they scald, uh, scald burn Scar uh, Skarmory or Pharaoh Thorn, they can just you know spat spam their uh, hazard removal moves and you know chip it down that way. Um, another indirect way to do it is use Rotom Wash. So Rotom Wash can force in. Ferrothorn at least and burn it. So if you have like Rotom Wash plus Exergil, Exergil has an easier time spinning versus a uh, uh, Ferrothorn, uh, which is nice. And then you also have fire types and fire type coverage. So Magnezone, really solid way to trap both. Um, and uh, just having, you know, another fire type on your team like uh, Heatran or a uh, Volcron or something, or Volcanion as well can uh, deal with those two. Um, then finally, we have Regen Cores. So that includes the stuff I mentioned before, like Slowbro, uh, Tornadus, Amoongus, uh, those cores. So Slowbro and uh, Tornadus are already good just together because they deal in they they can deal with most of the physical and special threats respectively in this tier. Uh, so one way to deal with them, uh, hazard stacking. Uh, so you know, getting spikes up, getting rocks up. It's it, it really you know is a game changer once once Tornadus starts taking uh, twenty five percent from uh stealth rock so it's regen is you know severely hindered and burn is also devastating for those two so um although the slow bro set change to deal with keldeo and uh keldeo's hydro pumps if slow bro is burnt and then it switches into you know keldeo's uh hydro pump it's it's it still risks you know being too KO'd by hydro if it is burnt uh so that's always something to watch out for also Tornadus T stops being a Keldeo switch and once it is burned and you got hazards up. Uh, so that's always nice too. Uh, you can also try to pursue them. So with enough chip, uh, stuff like Tyranitar or Revile can take them out as well. And then the bane of Regenerator cores is the Volt Turn core. Because uh, Sarah, Sarah mentioned this earlier, uh, they can only resist one. So, you know, if they even if they uh, resist, uh, you know, Volt switch, they won't resist the U-turn. Uh, so, if you have something strong, you could try like a, a you know, a Rotom Wash, classic Rotom Wash, 
uh, Landorus core. You can even put your own Rotom Launch Tornadoes T core. That's fine too. Or you can be spicy. Put Mega Main and Sword Scarf Landorus and so just start hitting very hard. Uh, but yeah, you'll keep you know chipping down down over time. And usually those cores like uh, like we mentioned earlier, just burn them. Get hazards stacking them. They they they, they are annoying at first but if you start chipping them over and over again they'll they'll stop you know being good cores and they'll get worn down and once you break one you basically broke through like most of them so yeah uh that's it for now uh, if you have any you know suggestions or comments uh regarding this list feel free feel free to let us know but this is what we think are the you know most prominent threats in the tier uh, there's always niche sets everywhere, like, you know, Choice Scarf, Thunderous, and, I don't know. Choice Scarf, yeah. Kyurem. <laughs> Choice Scarf, Kyurem, yeah. But the main idea with this is, you know, if you have a switch-ins to the mons on this list, you are good versus a majority of the metagame. Um, yeah, so, you know, just something to watch out for. I, I, did, I do want to mention, like, uh, People might bring up stuff like, you know, Zard, where's your Zard X answer, guys? Zard X can decimate you. So if you, if you, you know, if you have like a switch into Mega Medicham, like Clef or Slowbro, you can always T-Wave that uh, and then chip it down that way. So, you know, the, the, uh, uh, it may seem like, you know, we excluded some Mons, but if you have the Mons that we listed here, if you have checks with those Mons, you are good. Like, straight up, we got you, man. We got most of the answers to the, uh, the threats in the tier here. Um, but if you feel like we somehow missed something, feel free to let us know. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to click all the buttons, ring the bronze zone, lick the lick a tongue, <laughs> you know, chime echo in, in the chime echo box. Yeah. Also, if you have any uh, ideas for uh, future videos or uh, team building videos or you know videos in general, please feel free to comment. In the trimeco box below. Okay, guys, I think that's about it for us. Yep, yep. See you around. Yes. Yeah. Later. <laughs>